It's not as if I had much to lose, or to look forward to. Each day had the same shape. A bottle of whiskey, a pack of cigarettes, a needle in my arm, a handful of pills, a handful of flowers. From those flowers came an extract. From that extract came a drug. And from that drug, or through it, came my nightmares. It starts fast. You get this rush like a thousand cups of coffee or a jolt of electricity. It goes downhill just as fast. Your heart redlines. You hear 10,000 people all shouting different things, all with your voice. You don't know how much longer you can stand it. There's a firestorm in your brain. Then you black out. That was the last time I did it. I have no further memory of what happened that night. I woke up in the clinic. They told me they were sweating the toxins out. Words in English or any other language meant little to me at the time. I suppose I was just happy to have somebody else on my side for a change. I didn't know it at the time, but the doctors didn't have my best interests in mind. They dried me out just so they could fill me up with their own pharmaceutical bouquet. I have a vague recollection of the tour of the Zomnambulator, with a girl sitting there typing out my dreams, though whether she was transcribing or dictating, I cannot now say. All of my memories from that time are fuzzy, but I do recall two phrases quite clearly. All your fears, and dream come true. They put me to bed, with gadgets and dials all around, and they sent me to that place where my nightmares have form, a dream from which I cannot now wake. And as I look upon those grotesque faces, or swim through a sea of distorted memories, I know my only rest will come when I find that dark void where all the dreams are gone.